Fluff, and I'm Freddie Poole, and this is SEA News. It's a beautiful Christmas season, Austin. Beautiful, Fred. And it's good to be back behind the desk. Very good. You know, Austin, there's one thing that really puzzles me. Sad, Fred. Stereolithography. What? In recent news, the canned food drive went marvelously well. The seniors ended up winning the main prize of Jeans Day passes for a whole week. But not everyone was so happy the seniors won. The basketball team started off this season with community service in Alshazay. It was Sheriff Joe's day off, so the volunteer deputy sheriff stepped in. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Fred. All right, Austin. Here's a look at our SEA alumni with a segment entitled, Where Are They Now? Wait, what? What? It's just that uh, the segment, the Where Are They Now? Where Are They Now? Yeah, I, th I don't think it's very good. Why not? It's just, it's generic and unoriginal, you know? It's just... What are you like, what are they doing? No, I... I just, how do they spend their free time? The whole concept. What is their accomplishments? No, it's, it's bad. Just, well, tell me, what are you doing, Fred? I'm actually doing a lot. Oh yeah? Like what? Yeah, well, check this out. <laughs> Well, uh, well, I've, I've been pretty busy too, you know. Here, check this out. How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> tag, you're it. Uh, oh, uh, a long time. You're impossibly fast and strong. You gotta give me some answers. What do you think I am? A vampire? <laughs> I have considered radioactive spiders <sighs> kryptonite. You know I was serious about the vampire thing. Your skin is evil white and ice cold. Don't go out into the sunlight. Okay. <laughs> I told you, vampire. <laughs> vampire. Yes. Uh, Vampire. Stop it. No. Cut it out. No. Stop it! Very nice, Austin. Thank you, Fred. Well, we're not the only ones who've done something with our lives, Fred. My good friend John Suru is now an accomplished opera singer in the Sydney Opera House and is a regular in the singing group Il Devo. That's right, Austin. Not to mention President Weed himself, who has become the first doctor to ever successfully join two children together, thus creating the first artificial Siamese twins. Well, like we said earlier, it's good to be home for Christmas. That's right, Austin. And just in time for our safe, orderly, and disciplined awards, aka Sod of the Week. Woo! So without further ado, this week's Sod of the Week is, drum roll please. Mr. Lyons, congratulations. I bet you didn't know teachers could be sods too. But in all seriousness, Mr. Lyons, you've done a great job conducting band all these years. It's one of epic proportions. Well, let's cut to the chase, shall we? That's right. We at SE News realized the new season isn't exactly up to par. But you really didn't think you could get any better than this, did you? 
Oh dear. Ah well, nonetheless, George and Brett are still blossoming flowers in the garden of absurd journalism. And you know what? They need all the help they can get with making these stories. So, let's admit it. SCA News isn't just about two awkward adolescents trying to help you enjoy chapel, but it's about coming together in this cozy gymnasium and finding what we all have in common. So if you want to contribute to SCA News and spread the love, talk to George Paul or Brett Miller to see how you can help. Well everyone, we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Make sure to tell our neighbors over at Temple High Happy Hanukkah. That's right, they love that stuff. As for now, I'm Freddie Paul. And I'm Austin Plot. And this has been SCA News. Thanks for watching.